somebody else? Oh, there you go. Yes. Uh, first off, thank you guys for taking time out of your week and uh, coming here and speaking to us. It's awesome. I, too, am in recovery. Um, this is just kind of a general question for everybody. If, if I were a student and I were struggling or questioning my use, what would you tell me? Like, what would you suggest? Students? Students. Uh, <laughs> students. <laughs> <laughs> Seek out a meeting, and it will be very apparent if you want to be there or you're forced to be there and you'll be able to give the opportunity to reflect your own self and kind of check yourself and then kind of if you sit there and you start to really understand the people that are next to you more so than you really think you want to then you probably should be there and you probably should keep coming back let me give you some insight from my perspective so what i do is i recruit graduate students okay so i'm looking at transcripts and I'm looking at grades. Okay, so these students, it's, it's anybody who's a student right now who has dreams about the future, get a hold of yourself now. Because what happens is when you come across someone like me at my desk, you're gonna call me, a perfect student, a student well qualified with a good GPA, with good credentials and everything, just applies and they wish for the best. Those who are struggling calls every school in the US looking for a way in and they say what's your gpa well it's 3.1 it's 2.8 sorry i know you want it and you want it now but go somewhere and get a master's in that field and then apply so if time's important to you and you have goals and dreams and you're a student right now and you're struggling pull yourself together because you're not going to want to do that extra time. You're not going to want to pay that money for a master's. So these students right now are applying to graduate school, and I get 14 phone calls a day, 25 emails with the same question. And I take the time from because I'm not busy right now, and I try to talk to them in a gentle way because nobody wants to deal with them. Nobody wants to give them guidance. Nobody wants to be their, their mentor, let's say. And that's my first question, do you have a mentor? And so when they send me their transcript to look at, I look at, what's funny is they want to be a neuroscientist, but all their classes are in the arts. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, you're not qualified. You know? so, so it kills me. But again, if you have goals, focus on them now when you're in school. Yeah, just to answer your question, I think, uh they touched on like a few resources specifically at UCI for if you think you're struggling with your, you know, drug or alcohol usage, whatever. You know, I think most universities have uh, counseling centers. And uh, I know I personally didn't use them because I didn't think I, I had a problem. You know, I thought I would just, you know, move on to the next thing. Oh, my problem was this substance. And then you move on to the next substance and you find out your problem is you. So, um, you know, it really, like, uh, like you were talking about, it, it, it comes to a point where it's an internal thing. You just, you know when, you know, you've hit a bottom and you're, you're ready to seek help. And that was one of the, the hardest things for me personally was to actually reach out and say I, that I need help, you know, because my pride, my ego, I never wanted to... Um, ask for help in anything I did my entire life. So uh, that was one of the hardest things for me. But like I said, it just got to a point where I, I couldn't keep on the way I was. And like, I was just so miserable and at a point where I had to reach out to someone. And that person, you know, it, it just opens up from there. You talk to one person, they introduce you to another person, then take you to a meeting or to a treatment center, somebody who's can educate you more on addiction, whatever, and resources to help you. So that's what I'd say.